We're joined now by head softball coach Chrissy Strimple. Is this weekend the Golden Hurricane getting it underway at Texas A&M in a tournament? And coach, after all of what's happened the last year, can you put into words how excited you are to finally get it going? Uh, elated. It feels like a long time coming. Um, I think with uh, the amount of practices that we've had just against each other, I think we're just excited to see uh, somebody different across the way from us. And so the girls are uh, just ready to go to get after it. What kind of a team are you going to have? Um, I, th I think, again, we're going to have a versatile team. Um, we've got some key returners coming back that looked really good uh, this fall and also uh, leading up this spring. Um, and then we got some young ones that, you know, we're just going to try and find time to get in there. I think uh, you'll see that we run well um, and then hopefully mix in a few power numbers. Yeah, power number is always important, but obviously speed and defense and pitching, it seems to be the name of the game in softball. Where are you at in those areas? That's something that I feel like we've hung our hat on uh, since I've been at Tulsa is, you know, doing well in the circle, pitching well in the circle, and then also taking care of the ball on defense. And I expect to do the same uh, this coming starting this uh, spring. But, um, you know, we got a lot of experience on the dirt, and so that, that makes you feel good as a coach. Um, and then just getting the girls' feet wet since they haven't competed, you know, in almost 11 months now, I think. Chrissy, on the pitching side, you have Shanice Dells, you have Samantha Pocop, and you have Cassidy Scott. And you got three that have seen the bullets fly, so to speak. Uh, how do you think that's all going to set up? Well, it's nice to have veterans in the circle uh, kind of leading the way, especially for uh, any of our underclassmen that we have uh, in the on the pitching side of it, but you're exactly right. Sam Pocop, uh, what she was able to do last year, I hope she picks off, picks up where she left off. Uh, Shanice Dels, two-way player for us. Um, and then just excited that Cassidy Scott's coming back. She wanted to come back and finish that, that final year of playing. And so, like you said, just the, the veteran uh, pitching staff that we have, you feel good going out behind them. And it gives you flexibility, right? I mean, if you have to have somebody close a game, you can do that. You have some people that can come in and, and, and finish things for you, huh? That, that'll, be, that'll be the key this year is I, I feel like we can go a couple different ways with our pitchers, you know, and what their weapons are. Um, and we have versatility on the mound, absolutely. And you talked about hitting wise uh, how, how you use the speed you'll be a running team but you also obviously have to hit the ball and get it in the gaps and over the fence once in a while huh? I mean and we've got a lot of work in on offense uh, during COVID uh, spending last uh, fall that's kind of what we used it for um, and then this spring I mean just seeing a ton of live at bats off of our pitchers and so uh, I, I like the progress that our uh, hitters have made and just excited to see how it shows up in the season. Well your first year was a start and then a skip and and a stop and that sort of thing and now it's kind of 1b if you will or 1a season for you and uh, you know what did you learn in the brief time that you had to coach this team and now this is going to be your first full year yeah it almost like i went through a spring training right and then uh, and then it got halted but um i think that you have to to continue to make adjustments with your team we came out last year um just went hot and then I think it's just learning to make adjustments and figuring out what, how your lineup's going to go and maybe playing matchups um, with different pitchers versus if you got a rise ball pitcher or a down ball pitcher. And I think we have the versatility to do that with our team. And as usual in the early season, a lot of road trips, a lot of, a lot of tournaments on the road, but that's what you do to gain experience and also get some games in, right? Yes, I think, uh, well, this year, you know, we'll start on the road and then we'll turn around and come back home uh, and get to play here four games at home. So a little different than in the past, um, but like we talked about earlier, we're just so excited to get out on the dirt. Yeah, the majority of them are on the road, but that's right. You do have the early March tournament with New Mexico and some others involved, and so uh, that'll be exciting right out here on the uh, on the Tulsa dirt, huh? Yes, absolutely. I, like like I said, I know the girls are excited to see maybe a different color jersey across the way from them and get going. Chrissy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Chrissy Strimple getting ready for the upcoming softball season on the road against Texas A&M and then at home in early March in a tournament right here in Tulsa.